Oaks Christian is one of the top offenses in Southern California. One of their stars is offensive lineman Nico DeFranzo, who's already committed to the Air Force Academy. Nina Krillich from the ASU Cronkite Sports Bureau introduces us to Nico. The 6'3", 285-pound senior Nico DeFranzo is not just a mammoth lug of an offensive lineman. Instead, he is a smart, analytical, disciplined, and goofy member of the Oaks Christian High School football team, and someone whose experience will be crucial as the season winds down. Well, Nico is an emotional leader. You know, he gets out, and uh, with, with two experienced offensive line, him being one of them, uh, we really look at him to uh, you know help out the, the younger guys. We start three sophomores and two seniors, and uh, Nico being one of the seniors, we look for him for leadership on the line and, and to really set the standard for excellence uh, in, in his work habits and practice. I try to be a student of the game and decide stuff play by play and like moment by moment. I don't just, it could be a bad part of me, but I don't just go play football. I really think about what I'm going to do before I do it. Nico is methodical in his approach to his craft. Methodical, he's that guy who will not let any turn go on stone when there's something that needs to be asked. Um, so he's going to fully understand everything that's going on. He, he loves to know everything um, in a good way and a bad way. So far this season, there has been more good than bad for Oaks Christian. The Lions have piled up massive offensive yardage due in no small part to DeFranzo's work up front protecting five-star recruit Matt Corral and driving holes for running back Brandon LeBray. Nico has also made his presence felt in other ways, keeping the team loose and relaxed. We love to joke around. We love to mess around. I mean, Nico's a goofy guy outside of football. He won't admit it, but I mean, we're all pretty goofy outside of football. We all joke around, have some really fun, stupid stories together. Nico does not goof around when it comes to his appetite. I think my favorite food is pizzaiola. It's um, this Italian dish. It's basically like slowly cooked steak that's sliced up in a pan with tomatoes, onion, garlic, onions, all that. And it's just delicious. You have some pasta or rice. It's really good. Whether it is eating, studying, or preparing for football, DeFranco's daily routine requires him to be buttoned up. Oaks Christian has a really weird schedule. So where most schools have like a class of weight room, a class of like meetings and film. Oaks Christian, we don't really have that luxury to do that. So we only have 18 hours of on the field practice and nothing more than that. So every minute is very vital to us being a successful team. If we're not self-disciplined, we lose our practices. Extreme discipline is also the fundamental characteristic of all the U.S. military academies. So DeFranzo should fit right in at the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs, where he plans to play football for the Falcons. At the Air Force Academy, you're part of something bigger than yourself. And I really like that aspect that the academy had to offer against the other schools that have offered me. Before he turns his attention east, there is business to attend to at Oaks. His leadership will be counted upon to get the young Lions to the promised land. He's got to be the leader and he's got to do his job and, you know, uh, really set the example for, for the younger guys. And I think, um, you know, we've got some good skill guys that can make plays, but, uh, you know, guys in the trenches are the ones that uh, will help us win championships. For KEYT, this is Nina Krillick of the Cronkite Sports Bureau in Los Angeles.